Hi, I'm Bilal Khan, International Services. Uh, got another video for you guys. Uh, and today's video is about finding motivation and how, and how to stay motivated if uh, you know like you're going through some difficulties or some challenges in your professional life. Uh, got a great email I wanted to share you guys. Uh, I wanted to share it with you guys today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. And then the email says, uh, "Hi Bilal." Uh, I wanted to share my challenge with you. Uh, can you tell me some ways I can find motivation to keep going and improve my success in my professional life? Let's say if you are having a hard time finding a job or starting your own business, how do you stay motivated and not lose hope? All right, good question. Uh, very solid question. And thank you for sending me that one more time. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience. And this is very important. Uh, for you to achieve anything, anything you're trying to be successful at, and never give up hope. Never, ever, ever feel that uh, you're not good enough or you're not being worthy or like, you know, success is not on the cards for you. Never, ever feel this way. See this as a process. Like, hey, I'm just going through this or, you know, this is just a learning experience for me. So what can I learn from this experience? Or if I'm having failures, what I can learn from, this ex from the failures so I do not repeat these things again. Just look, just look at success as a process because whatever you're trying to achieve in your professional life, let's say whatever dreams or whatever goals you have, is gonna take time. It's gonna take a lot of time. It's gonna take way more time than you imagine it would take, like I keep saying. So don't just quit or don't just lose hope uh, at the first glance or, or at the first failure, you know? That's the last thing you can do. Uh, just look off, Just look at it as something, hey, what can I do to learn from this experience? And how can this experience help me moving forward? Which is very important. I am a very passionate individual who is going through a tough time in my professional life. Yeah, I mean, we all go through challenges and difficulties and it just, it's just, it's just, a lot, it's just the way it is. You know, life is a process. Uh, whatever you're trying to achieve, you will have some great day where things are going absolutely amazing for you, everything. It looks like everything you touch is turned into gold. And then there will be something where you, you can't do anything right. So it's, it's, it happens and you know, it, you, you just gotta be okay with it and you just gotta deal with it and you just gotta be fine with it. Uh, so don't put yourself into too much pressure and into too much expectation that you know, uh, what may or may not happen in the future or would it work out or would it not work out. Try to, try to live in the present moment. Try to be focused on, all right, what I can do today to get better, you know, or try to get myself closer to the goal that I'm trying to achieve. And it, the email also says, uh, I want to start my own business in the next few years. Good. Uh, I'm glad that you have go big goals or big dream that you are trying to achieve and trying, trying to work on. Because this is not going to help you be successful at your professional life, but it's also going to translate to all the other areas of your life as well as your personal life and your relationships and everything. So one, one of the best things you can do uh, to become a confident person and to become a person of real high value is to just take care of your professional life because this is, all, this is gonna take care of the rest of the other things as well because you're gonna give out a vibe of being successful and being confident and being someone who is, who is very, very eager, very passionate and very happy in what they're trying to do. So yeah, this is great and uh, that you're trying to uh, start your own business. So if you need my help with that or if you need my advice, you know, moving forward, feel free to let me know. I'll be happy to offer you my suggestion. Uh, but that's obviously for a different video or a different topic. Uh, also, f all right. also feel free to share this with others as I'm sure many more people can relate to that. Yeah, 100%. I'll uh, definitely do that. So your mission, if you choose to accept, is try to get a little better every day by taking action that brings you closer to your goal. So think of it as like whatever you're trying to achieve, what can I do today or what can I do literally right now that's gonna help me bring that help that's gonna help me be closer to my goal or what I'm trying to achieve. And that could be anything. That could be reaching out to an employer or writing your resume or correcting your resume or getting feedback for your resume or reading a book, you know, it could be anything. So once you do that, you will automatically feel better. Because why? Because you're taking action. You are taking action that is gonna help you, uh, that is helping you bring, that is helping you bring closer to your goal that you're trying to achieve. So instead of thinking of what may or may not happen in the future, just think what you can do right now that's gonna help you be closer to achieving your goal. And do it, 
Go ahead and do it. Don't be fearful. Don't be afraid. Just go ahead and do it. And then uh, the second advice is uh, success depends upon previous preparation, like Confucius said. So if you are being prepared, let's say you're preparing for success, you're preparing to be successful at something, you're taking steps to be successful, you're reading books, you're uh, you know, reaching out to your poten potential employer, or like, let's say if you want to start a business, like you say you want to start a business. Uh, try to see whatever I industry you're trying to, you know, conduct your business in, see if you can o go even work in that industry for some period of time. Uh, and that's gonna help you a lot moving forward, because let's say you don't want to be someone who just starts something off and then they don't have any sort of experience in what they're trying to achieve or what the goal of that business is. But if you work for somebody for let's say six months, eight months or a year, that will give you a lot of uh, benefits. You will learn from their failures and learn from their mistakes and learn from them. So this is one of the great, one of the best things you can do actually to, let's say you wanna, I don't know what, what sort of business you are trying to get into, but let's say, let's say you wanna open a restaurant, go work at a restaurant, see how it feels like, you know, or, whatever business you're trying to operate, uh, you know, try to study successful people uh, in those businesses. Like who's, who, which person is successful doing that business? And wh whoever that person is, read them, read about them. Like what are their achievements? How did, it, how did they manage to create such an awesome and amazing business for themselves? Uh, so when you do that, you know, you're taking action and you will automatically feel better. You know, you will automatically be a lot more satisfied and a lot more happy within yourself. And then uh, the third thing, uh, and I keep saying that all the time, uh, even though it's very counterintuitive, well, and then you might say, well, why would you recommend something like that? But I would still recommend it because this is very important. Go out, make friends, and have a good social life. Uh, this is, I know you will tell me that this is not related to your professional life, but the best thing you can do is to know and meet as many people as you're trying to meet, or as many people as you can. Uh, so go out, you know, school or university, whatever, go to events, go to functions, make friends, you know, go to family gatherings and try to meet a lot of people, try to meet and interact with a lot of people because that will keep you busy. When, when, and when you're busy, the people will ask you a lot of different questions. Hey, what are you up to? What's going on? How's your professional life? And then, you know, you, you can talk about, hey, I'm trying to, you know, get this job or I'm trying to start this business. They will offer you their advice. Now, it's up to you if you want to take their advice or not. But this is, this is one uh, area where you are, even if you're not, if, if you're not looking for advice, you're automatically getting advice, you know, so you're getting pretty much free advice. So then it's up to you if you want to take that advice or not, like I said. Uh, but if you are out making friends and if you have a good social life, you know, you will know and you will meet a lot of people and they can even help you, you know, start a business or, you know, try to get that particular job that you're trying to uh, get. So don't be hard on yourself. Uh, don't feel like you got to figure this out in two days or three days or, you know, uh, a month or two. Uh, you just take things easy and always try to live in the present moment. This is one of the uh, things I keep saying over and over. Uh, because we learn from repetition, we learn from some, from practicing things over and over and listening to the same things over and over again. So it's very important to uh, live in the present moment and try to enjoy uh, life, how it's going, instead of worrying about what may or may not happen in the future. But at the same time, taking some sort of action or whatever action you can take is in your capability, you feel, to help you bring, help, to bring you closer to that goal. So, and that's it. That's all the advice I have for you today. So feel free to send me a follow-up email or let me know uh, if you need uh, more detailed sort of help. Uh, but I'm glad you sent me this email and I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a video on it and then have it posted. So thank you for sharing me your experience and thank you for uh, taking the time to write this email one more time. And this is all I had for you guys today. Uh, if you have any question or any challenge with your professional development and you need my advice with, feel free to send me an email, uh, bkhan at student.govfc.edu and please allow me a few days to get back to you with a response. Until next time guys, this is Bilal Khan from International Services, International Services signing off. Have a great day and take care.